So I've been getting a lot of emails and some blog articles also suggested this. There is a little bit of confusion on how to properly use the grow bucket. So we're gonna head out to the garden. I'm gonna show you some subtleties or some techniques that you probably need to know if you're gonna use the grow bucket. And it doesn't matter if you're gonna use the grow buddy, the grow bucket, the hanging baskets, whatever. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. First of all, I guess the obvious um, misconception is that you always want your float stick to be up. And that's not necessarily true because uh, these inserts that are in these things are actually capable of watering a much larger area than this. And it may keep your plant uh, unhealthy if you have uh, too much moisture in the soil. So if you can see right here, here's the drain hole. And right below that is, is the moisture level uh, are the water level and it's wetting the soil right there uh, if this soil is all the way you know if the stick is all the way up and this stick is pretty much all the way up so what that does if this is say a newly planted tomato then you may end up getting kind of a rancid smell down in there and you get some anaerobic activity and that will cause uh, possibly some root rot so one of the things we like to do especially early on, is to allow the stick to go all the way down and let the soil dry out a little bit before you fill it back up again. Later on in the season, when the plant gets more mature and you can see this plant has plenty of fruit on it, then it will be thirstier. And depending on how big the plant is too, like these, uh, some of these tomato plants, like this one next to it, it's just a monster. And that one has uh, a grow buddy and a grow bag. The grow bags do dry out quicker, so you do need to water those more. But the same principle holds. Uh, the plants do like a certain moisture level. Now, switching over here to the pepper side, you can see we have a whole row of peppers right here. They like a little bit drier uh, moisture level in the soil. So um, on this one, I have an irrigation uh, kit hooked up to them, but you can notice that um, all of the float sticks, or water level indicators, as we call them, are down a little bit and the uh, good thing about that is these like a, a soil that is not as wet and so you can tell a difference you put your finger down in the soil and you can feel the wetness of it it's not quite as wet as when you go and you put your finger down in like a tomato plant you can feel the soil's a little bit more wet and that's what you want peppers are happier with a little bit drier soil so you may go a little bit longer we'll shut off the valve and Maybe only water these every other time, depending on you know how they're doing, and you know they're doing just fine, um, and it conserves water. So right here we have a grow buddy, and we have. If you look in here, you'll see um, the grow buddies right right underneath here, and it's watering a 50 gallon grow bag. So that one insert is enough to water this whole bag. You got to keep an eye on this though, because these bags do dry out quicker and you wanna make sure that the edges don't get completely dried out. And you can see we'll dig a little bit right here. Soil's pretty moist though. Um, I don't keep the, the reservoir full all the time. Uh, I turn it off and let it go through a dry cycle. Um, and that's something that the peppers really like as well. And if you keep that up, uh, I think you have a lot healthier plants. Another thing that people do, um, and it depends on what you're planting here, is they'll fill up their reservoirs and then go off for a long weekend, they like say a three or four day weekend. And if you have large mature tomato plants, that may not be good enough. Right now here in the South, we haven't been experiencing too hot a weather, but this week is gonna be in the 90s. And I think if I was gonna be gone for four days or more, I may wanna have somebody come check on these, uh, make sure that there's enough water in them. They can. The, the best way to give yourself some extra days if you're gonna be gone for a long time is to not only fill up till the sticks are all the way to the top, 
but water the top of the soil because the soil is going to have a holding capacity as well. So you add those two together, the, the water holding capacity of the soil, you fill that reservoir up, and then you fill up the actual physical reservoir down here until it overflows out, out the hole. And you should be able to get uh, away with being gone a couple of days. If you're in Arizona or something like that, then you may really have to have this irrigation kit. Uh, another thing that people may want to do if you're going to be gone extended periods of time if you're um, by yourself or single and you have uh, a traveling job what you can do is take the irrigation kit and put it on a timer system and that way uh, once you get to know your garden and you know its needs and how often it needs to be watered you can say maybe once a week fill up these reservoirs like on these grow bags right here where we have the grow buddy in those you can fill those up maybe once a week and that's about what we're doing right now it's getting hot so we may have to do that a little bit more i can see that all the sticks are down but if you go and look at the soil even though the stick's down and i've got a thick layer of mulch on these especially these because they tend to dry out pretty quick um, it's still pretty moist down there so that's another thing you can do on top of the extra watering is to now for keeping water in the soil is to put a very thick layer of mulch on top and that'll help keep the moisture in. The grow buckets by far are the most water conserving instruments. If you go to the grow bags, those are the least. But as you can see, the plants really do love the grow bags. So it's your choice. We got some uh, cucumbers in the back there and uh, they seem to like it about the same as the tomato plants. So I kind of treat them the same. Uh, the pepper plant here is doing pretty good. Um, the other thing you don't want to forget is to feed your plants. You do have to fertilize them. So um, the soil is only going to have so many nutrients in it that will get the plants so far. And then once they get mature like this, about every other week or so, you're going to have to start adding fertilizers. Thank you for supporting GrowTech Garden Products. We're a veteran-owned, made-in-the-USA company. If you like what we're doing, please tell others about our products and like, subscribe, and share.